Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Yay! Today we have a subscriber suggestion, this time from someone called KingGamer5000, who has asked for Mumbo Jumbo's Under Overdoor, but of course, for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Just before we get into this video, I just want to say original design credit does go to the ultimate banana, Mumbo Jumbo. But of course, I haven't copied his redstone because he built his in Java, and this is Bedrock. Okay. On with the video. Now to showcase this design, I was just going to build a little door frame just to show you what it'd look like in your own survival worlds, but I got a little bit distracted <laughs> and I ended up making the whole house. <laughs> Honestly, the five minutes just turned into an hour. Oh dear, it's terrible. I don't know why I do it to myself. So this is just an average house you might find in any survival world. And to get in though, this is where it gets a bit special. So we can see we have a pressure plate down here. If we just walk forward, <laughs> as you can see, we get shot down, then shot back up really nice and quickly. Now, if you were in survival and you didn't know this was in someone's house, I think this would give you quite a big surprise, wouldn't it? Then we want to get out, we just press this button and walk out like that. Let's just do it again. I love this thing. Walk forward. <laughs> I love it. It's fantastic. Now, taking a quick look at the redstone about all this house on top. As you can see, the redstone is fairly compact for how much it's got to do, but it has limitations of actually how small it can be. Now, with this build, my whole aim was not to get it ridiculously small, basically just to get it really fast. And that's, I think, what I've managed to do. As you can see, just so fast. <laughs> now with this build as well, it is quite cheap and also it is very easy to make, as you'll see in a second. So now you've seen the design, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build, you're going to need three regular pistons, nine sticky pistons, four repeaters, one observer, six redstone dust, six redstone torches, one slime block, four obsidian, one juke box, one regular pressure plate, so not a weighted pressure plate, one button, one door, 12 blocks of redstone to go on, and then however many blocks you need for your decoration. Okay, to start, you need to determine where your door is going to be. So what I've done, I've laid down four blocks like this, two blocks for your outside, and two blocks for your inside. So my pressure plate is going to go here, and my door is going to go here. So looking at this block here, pressing like that. So it should be on the far right of this block. If it's on this block, your build is going to break, because when that block gets retracted, that door is going to break. Okay, so it has to be on the inside. Now that you've done that, come underneath this block here, place a block, one more, one more, move the first two, and have a sticky piston facing upward. Then place a block here, and another sticky piston like that. And you can remove these two blocks. One, two. Now from this sticky piston, what I want you to do is come out three blocks. One, two, three, and then one up. Remove these first two and place two sticky pistons, one here and one here. Remove these two, then do the same on this sticky piston. One, two, three, one up, remove these two and two sticky pistons. One, two. Remove these blocks. Now underneath this block with the pressure plate on it, we want a block, and then we want a jukebox. Move that block, and then place redstone dust on top of the jukebox. The reason we have the jukebox is firstly, it's an immovable object, so it doesn't get moved with sticky pistons or slime blocks, but also the jukebox is a transparent block. So although there is redstone dust on this block, that sticky piston is not gonna activate when I activate the redstone dust, as you can see. Okay, now place a block here, one out, move that block, and place a regular piston facing toward the jukebox. Move that block, and place a block here. Then grab a torch, place it on the side of that piston. Block here, one out, move that block. On top of this block, place some redstone dust. Going toward this sticky piston, we want a torch. Then we want to place a block here, one out, like that. One here and one up. Move that middle one. Repeater coming away from that torch, and it should turn up, should be off, and leave it on one tick. Torch on top of that block, and then a block here. 
So at the moment, we should just literally have these retracting when we press this pressure plate, as you can see. Okay, after you've done that, what I want you to do is place the torch here, then place the block here, and from that torch, have a repeater, and it should turn on, and we want it on one tick. Then place three decoration blocks, one, two, three, and dust on them like that, and these pistons should extend. Now, come underneath this block here, place one down and another one, move that block, and dust here. Then place the blocks out like this, one, two, three, one up here and move that block. On this block going toward this one, we want the repeater on four tick delay, and from this block going away, we want one tick. Sorry, a repeater on one tick. <laughs> then place a block here, one up, and we have a sticky piston like that, and place a slime block here. Now, whilst we have the redstone all exposed, if you're playing in survival, what I'd recommend is you to change this repeater to two ticks, and this repeater to two ticks. So at the moment on this one, we have it on one tick and one tick. You actually take half a heart fall damage as you go down like that. But if you were to change it to two ticks and two ticks like that, you don't take any fall damage. But of course it does slow down the build. So whatever you want to do, just either one tick on both of them or two ticks on both of them. I'm gonna leave them on one tick for now. So now we've done that, what I want you to do is underneath this block, grab a sticky piston like that then place an observer here, so the dot should be going toward the back. Then place a block here, one out, move that one. Have a sticky piston here, regular piston here, and regular piston here. Sticky piston, sorry, sticky piston, slime block like that, torch here, and torch here. And that's all the redstone completely done. Now just to finish off this build, what I want you to do is grab some of your decoration blocks, and firstly place a piece of obsidian, or any immovable block for that matter, here, then a temporary block, obsidian like that, move that block, and then a piece of obsidian here. Then we can grab some of our decoration blocks and place them here and here, one on the bottom and one on this side, one here and one here. The reason we have these pistons here is so we can actually use regular decoration blocks on these sides as well instead of using obsidian, because when they get pulled down with the slime block they literally just get extended again from these pistons. Then place some decoration blocks here and here, piece of obsidian here, then we grab one more decoration block and place it here. Then we can just cover up all of our redstone like this. Maybe put some little door surround like that. And we're completely done. So we have to move forward. As you can see, we get launched up on the other side. Of course, we can power our button here. Finish with our flooring. Make a whole house if we really want to. <laughs> but you're completely done, okay? Perfect. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, of course, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.